Hello everyone, this is Sonic Wacker 55 here, and today I will be doing a review on the Tomy Sonic Collectors Classic Sonic and the Classic Tails plushies. And I'll be going all over the usual points. I'll be talking about the materials, tags, details, proportions, pros and cons, and warnings, and comparisons. So let's get started off with materials. So what materials that they use on these plushies is a really, really nice soft material. And they used felt and they used embroidery on his uh, on their eyes and also on their mouth. Now next up, tags. So let's get started off with the tush tag. So the tush tag says Sonic the Hedgehog. Then it says Tomy. Then it says Kyrie Sega. And then it says the materials, polyester fiber. And then there's polyester fiber, made in China, and things that you should probably not do with this plush, and with the classic tails, and also some more information. Now to the paper tag. Now the paper tag is really, really nice. It has a nice logo of Sonic the Hedgehog, and it has a really nice swirl, and it has really, really nice pixelation. And it has a really nice picture of classic Sonic, and then it has a logo of Tomy. Then here is the back with some information, and where is Tomy, and Sonic the Hedgehog's website. Now what is inside the tag? Well, this is what looks like was inside the tag. So it has information of Sonic the Hedgehog in different kinds of languages. And also has CE and Tommy's website. And also there's different kinds of websites for Tommy. There's Tommy Europe, Tommy International. And that goes for the same thing for Tails. Now next up, details. Now I have to say, they did really nice details on the classic Sonic. And also on the classic Tails. And which one is my favorite out of these two? It would probably be the classic Tails. Cause he's so cute. And he looks exactly like the same from the picture. And even there's one big improvement than the 25th anniversary classic Tails and the Sonic Boom Tails by Tomy. You see, look, his Tails. They did a really nice job with his Tails. They finally fixed it. I really, I really like his face. It's really, really cute. I really, really like this plush. Actually, in my opinion, I think he is probably one of my favorite Tails plushes out there. And as for Classic Sonic, pretty good, pretty good. But for some reason, his nose is really, really small. And let's see his back. His back looks like it's just it's sticking out. Like, if only the spikes can, like, like go in instead of, like, going out. And also, there was one big flaw. And he has six fingers. Okay, so look. One, two, three, four, five, six. He has six fingers. What were Tommy thinking of that? So what I have to say for the classic Sonic, he is good, but he has some flaws, like the nose, his spikes. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention... His back spikes, it's so short, like, like his tails is not sticking out. And even his back spikes, it's, it's just too small and it's not sticking out right. So this is a good classic Sonic plush, but he has some flaws. And even he looks a little bit like the GE Classic Sonic plush, which looks like a copycat out of the GE Classic Sonic plush. I really hope Tommy did not copy the GE Classic Sonic plush. So anyways, details on them is really, really nice. I like the details on them. Tommy did a really good job on the details. Now next up, proportions. Now they are well proportioned, but well, just his spikes. I don't know what they will figure with his spikes. I don't know if that is well proportioned. But for classic tails, he's really well proportioned. Now that was pretty much it for the proportions. Now pros and cons. Pros. The classic Sonic looks really, really nice. And 
for classic tails really really nice I liked what they did with his face I liked what they did with his tails really really nice details a really nice classic tails plush I think you should pick up this classic tails plush and if you want to make plush adventure videos for Sonic then you should get this classic tails plush if you need him for the plush adventure videos and classic Sonic looks really really nice now cons Classic Tails has no cons at all. He is really, really nice. No cons for this at all. But for Classic Sonic, he has a few problems. Well, first of all, his ears are too short. And he has six fingers. And his nose is small. And I don't know what they were doing with his spikes. And his back spikes are just... Is, well, his tail is just too small. Now, next up, warnings. Now warnings came by on these plushies, so if you're like 3 years old, then you should probably not have these plushies. Well, if you're 3 years old and up, then you can't have these plushies. Also, this is a Tommy Sign Collector series, so this is probably for collectors only. Now last but not least, comparison. So I'm going to be doing one comparison, and I'm going to compare my Tommy Sign Collector's Classic Sonic plush with the GE Classic Sonic plush and the main Sonic that I use in my videos. Alright, so he is soft and he isn't soft. He, he's made out felt. No soft material on this plush. Now both of these plushies have hangers. Well, the GE Classic Sonic has a yellow hanger and this one has, well, this kind of hanger. Now the way they are posed, it's exactly the same. He's small and he's longer. Now for the back. And also I forgot to mention that he is bright blue and he is dark blue. His back spikes are sticking up and his back spikes are going down. His back spikes are short and his back spikes is long. His legs are short and his legs is long. And on the bottom of his shoes, it has a dark brown color. And as for him, no dark brown brown color on the bottom of his shoes. So that was pretty much it for the comparison. So yeah guys. So that was pretty much it for this review. And how much would I give these guys out of 10? I would give Classic Sonic a 9.9 .9 out of 10 because he has some flaws. And for the Classic Tails, a 10 out of 10. This is probably my favorite Classic Tails plush out there. And I think I just said that so many times. And if you want to know where you could get these, you can get them off eBay and Amazon. I got these two off of Amazon. Also, there's a Tommy Sonic Collector's Modern Sonic, Modern Tails, Metal Sonic, and also, I think there's also going to be a Tommy Sonic Collector's Shadow, and even a Classic Knuckles. I think the Classic Knuckles is coming out on fall. So I have to say that Tommy's doing a really good job on the Sonic plushes and even on the figures. So what I have to say for these guys, these are really, really nice. So I recommend you guys get them. So pick them up if you're a Sonic fan. Pick them up if you're a collector of Sonic plushes, figures, and many, many more. So guys, thank you for watching and goodbye.